Gonna show the uh, Pi boot up, as I promised I would in the last clip. Um, so due to this ch charge controller's cheapness, it won't boot up uh, when I have the um, uh, micro USB plugged in. And even if it did, I wouldn't do that because I want to show it running off of its own battery. Um, so we're gonna throw that away. Um, and then here's why I need a switch. Um, basically, this thing load monitors. So it needs a change in load. So right now it's unloaded, and we're going to load it up. And now it powers on. So having a switch is going to be much better when it's in a case. Um, so I don't have to do that. And you can see it's booting up. And my LCD is awful. And in awful condition. Um, I mean, this is what I get for buying the cheapest uh, Pi TFT on AliExpress. Um, at least I got refunded on it, and I think I'm just going to stick with it because it's not completely unusable. Um, and that brings the cost of this project down. But if you were to replicate this project, don't buy the cheapest Pi TFT on AliExpress. That's really not a good idea. Um, at all. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So it's booted up now. Um, and again, this... TFT really doesn't film well on the camera, but um, it's running off its battery. There's no cords. There's no nothing. Um, it's all I can do like the like whatever whatever kind of not really because I can't reach. But um, it's running off a battery. I don't know what kind of battery life this thing gets. Um, I assume it's somewhat decent. I mean, the Pi 3 is not especially power-hungry. This TFT is probably on the power-hungry side because I can't adjust the brightness. Um, but I do have a 2,200 milliamp hour battery in there. Um, I mean, it's probably not going to be on smartphone level, but then this is definitely not a smartphone replacement, despite the fact I often title these videos DIY smartphone because... I don't know. Um... Yeah, this is more. This is less of a smartphone replacement device and more of like a uh, pocket um, terminal, like the ones Node has built. Um, it's more of like a uh, specialty. Like I need to troubleshoot a networking issue, and bringing a laptop around is unwieldy. And this, even though it's completely unwieldy for a mobile device, it's a lot less unwieldy than a laptop. Um, or it's like I need to set up some new Raspberry Pis, and d d this one's a self-contained Raspberry Pi setup, so I can set up more Raspberry Pis off of it. Um, I don't know. There's, I'm sure I'll find uses for this, um, but that is it for um, PiDA for now, until I get my diodes and switches, um, and then I'm going to 3D print a few um, enclosure design. Um, probably prototype in my black PLA because that's running pretty low. Um, and I, my white PLA is still in a, uh, air, yeah, airtight, uh, bag with silica gel to stop moisture ingress. Uh, but anyways, once, um, for, for the final, um, enclosure, I'm gonna print that with, uh, white PLA to match the, uh, eye slide case. And that's all. I don't really have anything more to say. I'll continue to uh, film updates as they happen. Um, I mean, it's massive um, compared to, like, I don't know, any... Well, this is a small phone, but even compared to reasonably sized phones, it's massive just because it's so thick, even if the screen's a lot smaller than them. Um... And it's fairly heavy, but it's kind of cool. Because it's completely DIY.